Your TV is lying to you. The media isn't showing you the largest minority group in the US, Latinos. Here are five things you might not know about Latinos in media. Numero uno, Latin Americans are one of the most ethnically diverse groups in the world. Some of us have blonde hair and blue eyes like Cuba and Cameron Diaz or Mexican Wampa from Freeform or dark skin like Dominica and Soe Saldana. Latin American heritage spans African, indigenous, and even Asian backgrounds. Surprise! We are not all the same. And 25% of the LGBTQ plus population in the US is Latin American. That's why people are starting to use the term Latinx to describe themselves meaning a Latin American of any gender identity. In the rare scenario that Latinx characters are depicted in TV and movies, it is usually just one type, one look, one occupation. That is simply not who we are. Number two, the term Hispanic was actually invented by the US. The US government literally invented Hispanic to easily bucket all Spanish speaking citizens for the 1970 census. So anyone from Spanish speaking country, even Spain, was included. Spain is not a Latin American country. Just in case that wasn't clear. A Latino refers to a person with roots in over 20 Latin American countries and territories like Mexico, Colombia, Peru, Argentina, Venezuela, Chile, Guatemala, Ecuador, Cuba, Bolivia, Haití, República Dominicana, Honduras, Paraguay, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Puerto Rico, Uruguay, Guadalupe, Martinique, Guayana, Francesa, San Martín, San Bartolomé, and more. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to speak Spanish to identify as a Latino. Lots of second and third generation Latin Americans speak a mix of Spanish and English, or only English, or even Portuguese. And they're still 100% Latinx, baby. Shows like Party of Five and Freeform are shattering these biased stereotypes. Dude, should you know how to speak Spanish? Shouldn't it be easy for you? My parents didn't speak much Spanish to me, all right? Is that my fault? But it is time for more. Numero tres, Latino characters only make up 3% of speaking parts in popular movies. 3%? How is that even possible when Latinos make up 18% of the US? That basically means there's more Latino representation in Wyoming than in the movies. No offense, Wyoming, it is not personal. Something that is personal, 70% of major movies this decade did not include any Latina characters. Imagine the US without any Latinas. You know what, do not, because it's tragic. A study that looked at the top movies from the last 10 years found that the majority did not depict Latinos as educated professionals. The rest relied on tired stereotypes like criminals, servants, immigrants. Latinos as a help, groundbreaking. Numero cuatro, Latinos are nearly 25% of moviegoers, but only 3% of movie makers. One out of every four movie tickets is bought by a Latino, but we aren't being accurately reflected in what we pay to see. Maybe because only 4% of major film directors are classified as Latino, and turns out a good chunk of them are actually from Spain. And if you recall... <laughs> Spain is not a Latin American country. Less than 10% of TV writers are people of color in general. So you know, the Latino piece of that pie is even more pequeño. Numero cinco, TV and movies should build up the future, not burden it. Kids learn about the world through TV and movies. Studies have shown that movie stereotypes actually decrease self-esteem in all girls and boys of color. With that in mind, it is so important that Latinx characters give the next generation of Latinos or non-Latinos a good representation of who we are. Now, the good news, when Latinos are behind the camera, the quantity and quality of our representation on TV and movie screens skyrockets. For example, when a Latin American director is attached to a film, the percentage of Latinx characters increased by at least 10%. And just this year, Latinx creators have fought for growth on the small screen, seemingly debuting more Latinx casts than ever. The new Party of Five on Freeform tackles issues that affect Latinos today, like deportation, Latinx identity, and family values. These characters are as multifaceted as a community they actually represent. What do you think the future of Latinx representation looks like? Tell us in the comments. Share this video if you believe in quality Latinx representation.